guys, it's F5 the Card Guys, also known as Andy. I'm here to do my first ever video response. Now, I'm actually not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but I think I've seen enough video responses to kind of get the gist of it. Now, this is for top shelf pulls, and the reason I'm doing this isn't because I want to win the contest. So even if my name gets drawn, it's okay, you guys can redraw it. Um, I'm actually doing it because I want to give him a proper shout out and it's for two reasons. One, he's very young and very active in the community and it's really good to see someone like that very engaged and I want to keep him going. And I'm pretty sure he's going to surpass me and this channel very soon because it took me almost a year to get to 300. He's going to do it in half the time and uh, it's just incredible to see. Second reason is because he's so active, it's always nice to see his comments. Even sometimes when I put out a video um, that might not be my best or I might be worried about, he's always there to tell me I did a great job and it makes me all feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So that's always great. There's actually a third reason why too, and that is because he actually pulls fire when he breaks. So if you watch my videos and see, hey, this guy pulls nothing but duds, you should watch Top Shelf Pulls. He actually does pull some fire, especially his recent one with his Connor McDavid, spoiler alert. Um, he was so excited that I was excited too until I realized the cold reality that the card is his and not mine, and then I got sad again. But that being said, this is for Top Shelf Pulls. Now, the criteria for his video is that it can't be a rookie and it has to be from a team that's not your favorite team. So for those of you who don't know, my favorite team is the Vancouver Canucks. So unfortunately, I have a lot of Canuck cards. And unfortunately, I also have a lot of young guns. So he wants to find out what's the coolest cards you have. It doesn't have to be valuable. And honestly, I don't really have that much of value. Again, you guys have seen some of my pulls. I don't pull that much heat anyway. So it took me a little while to find five cards that I deem valuable or cool or exciting or different. And uh, I actually wound up with six. One's gonna be an honorable mention. Um, but let's get started. Here we go. First card is a Mike Huff base upper deck 1991-92 Quebec Nordiques card. Why this card is special to me is because if we zoom in there, it says to Andy from Mike Huff, and you might be wondering why I didn't put in a sleeve or a top loader or anything like that. It, uh, it actually came because I interviewed his daughter on Cards and Conversation when we were still doing the podcast. Um, we'll probably get back to it shortly, so give us some time while we get set up. This pandemic has really kind of thrown things off the rails, um, and the Zoom quality videos just weren't great. But anyway, he gave me this card as a thank you, and... And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Now, the reason why it's not in a sleeve and in a case is because his daughter handed me this card straight out of her jean pocket. So um, by that point, it's already kind of damaged or whatnot. But it's a really nice gesture anyway. I did put it on my Christmas tree as well as an ornament. So thank you very much, Mr. Mike Huff. And this is truly a one of one card. Okay. Next up is going to be a two card selection and the reason for this is they're kind of the same card. Um, I know Upper Deck Synergy gets a lot of hate because it's very childish looking or it's very art, I don't know, it just doesn't look like a good collector's card and it also is one of the first ones to go on discount. So, you know, Synergy has always had a bad name except this year because everything's gone crazy through the roof in terms of the hobby. Now. There are times where Synergy does get it right and they come out with some really, really cool inserts. And these are the inserts that they have. This is called the Career Spanning Cards by Synergy. You've got a Stevie Y, Steve Eiserman, uh Career Spanning card, super shiny. Um, and you've got his, not really anything else on the back except uh, the year this card was taken. So this was taken in 2005, 2006. And this part was taken in 83-84. So it shows you what he looked like when he first joined the team. No undershirt needed. And then, boom, there you go. He is wearing an undershirt at this point. Uh, Mario Lemieux, same thing. He joined in 84-85 Pittsburgh Penguins. And then on the back, you'll see his last year was 2005-2006, which was the year that 
uh, if you remember, Sidney Crosby was drafted. Now, this is kind of cool. If we zoom in there, look at the numbers on his shoulders. Those are iron-on numbers. Those are like the numbers that I get on my beer league jerseys. So those are iron-on. Very, very disappointing to see that in the NHL at that point in time. And then there you go, the beautiful uh, three-color stitching there. Awesome. All right, so that's that. That's technically just my second card, all right? Um, this third one, not very valuable, but really cool. This is Upper Deck Artifacts. Sorry, somebody used scotch tape when they shipped it to me. You can see the, the uh, stain there. But this is from Artifacts. This is called Arum. This is a red arm of Nikita Kucherov. So hopefully he's okay and he can play after the uh, little slash to the back of his leg there against the Florida Panthers. But this is red arm. It's 30 of 99. It's probably not worth a lot, but I thought it was really, really cool. And I just really had to have it. So... There you go. There's the red arm Nikita Kucherov. Card number four. Um, this might be something that's worth something. I don't know. I don't really know enough about Panini Certified, but I did break some Panini Certified when this channel was very, very young. And I wound up pulling this Patrick Kane 5 of 5. Maybe Mr. Slapnuts can let me know if this is worth anything because it does have those sexy jerseys. But um, it's a number of Five of five of Patrick Kane. They call it the Green Emerald Parallel. Um, it's not his rookie card, obviously, but it looks pretty sweet. And there's only five of these in the world, and I'm one of the five that have it. So there you go. And then the final card that I want to show you is a basketball card, actually. This is a Dwight Howard scripted in time. It's from 2007, 2008, even though it says 2004, 2005 on the bottom. This is kind of like one of those retro throwback cards. Um, this card is important to me because when we first started going back into the hobby and we started our Instagram channel and the YouTube channel, um, we joined a lot of giveaways and, uh, you know, so sorry for spamming all of our stories and tagging people, whatnot, but we joined a lot because we didn't know what else to do and we won something. This is one of the first things we ever won and it was amazing. I would think I was super hyped for the whole night. So we got ourselves this Dwight Howard autograph card. Now, two things about it. Dwight Howard, obviously, you know, his peak was a few years back, so this card isn't worth that much, but it's more of the sentimental value behind the card that, uh, that really drives it home for me. The second part of it, and why this card is kind of important too, is there is a Vancouver Canucks tie to this card. He was drafted, Dwight Howard is. Dwight Howard was drafted by a man named John Wisebrod, um, who happens to be now the assistant general manager to the Vancouver Canucks. And what's funny about that is I think it was well, one of our local media tweeted out that he's talked to other people and nobody really knows what John Wisebrod does. And honestly, I don't really know what he does either. I just know he was in Calgary when Calgary was a disaster with Jay Feaster and uh, they almost lost Ryan O'Reilly when they tried to go after him on offer sheet and they could have lost him on waivers, but that turned out okay. Um, but yeah, he's been an absolute disaster when he was in Calgary and now he's in Vancouver and the Canucks have made the playoffs once in the last seven years. So, hmm, I don't know, man. If, uh, if, if he's been around and the results aren't there, just saying. Anyway, so that's the story about this card. It was a giveaway win and somehow it still ties to the Canucks. All right, guys. So go check out Top Shelf Polls. I put all his description and his link, or sorry, his link in the description below. Uh, he truly deserves all the subs he can get. I think he's going to get to a thousand very, very soon. I hope he does. And uh, yeah, if uh, that's all from me today, guys, take care. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and um, you know, check on your friends and family. And when you can, have a drink. Drink to that, guys. Cheers.